Hi guys, welcome back to Creative Glam. My name is Sharon. If you're new to my channel, hello and welcome. And if you're returning, thank you and welcome back. I'm glad you stopped by. Today I'm going to share with you what's for lunch. It's a small grocery haul and a cook with me. It's an easy caprese pizza that anyone can make. Let's get started. Okay, so I'm back from the grocery store with my small haul, plus the items that I need to make lunch. I also picked up some Fabuloso. I use that quite a bit in my um, cleaning of my house and laundry. I picked up some more, um, they're like Unstoppables, but it's the game brand called Moonlight Breeze. Um, I don't usually use this brand, but I kind of like the way it smells, so I thought I'd give it a try. And I also picked up some Downy Bliss. Um, a friend of mine told me that these smell really good, and they were, what I smelled in the store was okay, but I'd never used them before, so I thought I'd give those a try as well. And I picked up some, uh, some dryer sheets. Uh, they were also the Moonlight Breeze. Uh, I picked up some straws which we use quite often. Um, I got some more sweet tea, you know, that's a staple item in my home. And I also got some beet, apple, and ginger juice, organic juice, never had it before. Thought I'd give it a try. Beet, apple, I love apple juice, I love ginger tea. Um, and I've never had beet juice. I really don't even eat beets that much, but my husband wanted to try it, so we're gonna give that a try. Uh, I got some more creamer, caramel macchiato. That's my new creamer favorite. Uh, I got some more sweet tea. It wasn't extra sweet. I actually picked this one up by mistake because I usually always get the extra sweet. <laughs> and I didn't. I got the sweet. So it'll work because we always mix it. We mix it with the uh, with the juice. I got some 7-Up, which I, we don't drink carbonated soda that often, but when we do, uh, we usually drink something like a Sprite or a 7-Up that, again, we can mix with other juices. Um, I also got some peanut butter cookies. These cookies are um, the store brand, you know, when the, the bakery makes the cookies. Uh, my husband and son like these quite a bit, so I picked some of those up. Um, and then I got some um, sugar pies. That's what we call them, sugar pies. The oatmeal cream pies. Uh, again, that's my son's favorite. I got some Swiss rolls, which again is something that my husband and son eats. I don't eat this stuff. And I got some coffee cake tasty cakes. I don't eat those either. As you can see, the snacks are not for me. <laughs> and um, lemonade blackberry juice. I usually do the Simply Lemonade Blueberry Juice, but I haven't been able to find it here lately, so I picked up the Lemonade Blackberry by Florida's Natural. And I picked up some more uh, spreadable butter uh, with olive oil and sea salt. This is the one that I use on a regular basis. And I also got some Lighthouse Chunky Blue Cheese. We use it as a dipping sauce more so than a salad dressing, uh, but these absolutely go fantastic with buffalo wings. Um, so I need to put all these away and let's get started on the pizza. Okay, so these are the ingredients that I picked up to make my caprese pizza. Uh, and this is what I'll be eating for lunch. I picked up two different types of dough because I wasn't quite sure how I wanted to do it. I got some regular pizza dough here uh, from the grocery store. Uh, and it was only $2 for the regular pizza dough. And then I ran across this one here, the uh, the bistro pizza. So this is a round thin crust. I, I assume it's just pre-made and you know, I just need to roll it out and put it on the pan. Um, and that may be in fact what I use. I think this will be ideal when you're short on time. And then of course you got the regular, just regular pizza dough that you can just roll out and uh, shape it, you know, rectangle, square, round, however you want when you have a little more time. Um, and it can be frozen. That's the great thing about the both of these. They can be frozen. I picked up some fresh mozzarella and I got the ones that's thin sliced. I also picked up a little Asiago cheese because I like Asiago cheese on my pizza. <laughs> I also picked up um, some pizza, the margarita sauce. And a margarita, a margarita pizza and a caprese pizza are very similar. The only difference between the two is that the um, caprese pizza has garlic. 
fresh garlic and I like that on my pizza so I'll be putting fresh garlic I'll chop that up and add that to the mix and then I also picked up uh, some olive oil just some regular olive oil I'm gonna turn on the oven and we can get started making this caprese pizza Hey guys, let's connect on social media on Instagram and Pinterest at Creative Glam One. I'm going to leave additional photos to this video over there. Stop by and check me out and make sure you follow. I added my pizza sauce, I added some garlic powder, and some basil. And so now I'm going to add my fresh mozzarella. Trying to make them thin. I like them thin. I'm gonna add a little dry basil to my mozzarella. Add my tomatoes. A little Asiago cheese. Now I'm gonna place it in the oven uh, at 425 for 14 minutes. Mm. Mm The pizza's done. I'm gonna take it out of the oven and place it here on this trivet. I got this trivet from Italy. All right, there we go, guys. Lunch is ready. In the time that it would have taken me to order from Uber Eats and have it delivered, I made it myself with fresh ingredients. What's for lunch? Caprese pizza. Mmm. Mmm. Mm-hmm. That is so good. Okay guys, that's a wrap. Or should I say, that's lunch. I'm gonna dive into this Caprese pizza. I am very hungry. I hope you enjoy my Cook With Me What's For Lunch. If you enjoyed this What's For Lunch, let me know. Leave me a comment. I appreciate you being here, and I'd love it if you gave me a thumbs up. Make sure you hit the subscribe button along with the notification bell. Hit it twice so that you don't miss out on any of my future videos. And now that you've made it to this point in my video, click one of the video links at the end to see more home decor or cook with me's or clean with me's by Creative Glam. I also have other videos linked in my description box. Be sure to stop by and check them out too. And with that being said, have a blessed day. I'll see you right back here next time on Creative Glam. Bye.